Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shrady and welcome back to the channel. So, I've already filmed this video before and uh, I filmed it in, uh, <laughs> it was like less than 144p. It was in terrible quality, so here I am recording it again three days later after streaming Arceus every night for like four nights, I don't know. If you haven't seen those streams, they're on the channel if you want to check them out and I'll probably be streaming Arceus uh, yesterday for you guys. <laughs> Probably also tonight so keep a lookout that game is absolutely amazing I don't care what anyone says about it moist critical you're wrong you're wrong 6 out of 10 my ass 10 out of 10 my big penis yeah Shut up. that's don't say no. No. okay my big schlong my big penis. D Jesus big penis that's mine. It, which is attached to me but it's hers and also mine. All right, so let's get into the video I here. Mine. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about a hundo 15, 15, 15, level 51 maxed out Galarian Slowpoke. Now you would think that this Pokemon wouldn't be all that great because it's a pure psychic type. It doesn't have like the greatest moveset. It doesn't have a subtyping, so it's just a pure psychic type. Uh, but somehow, I don't know how, but somehow the madman who I will name here shortly because there needs to be a clip attached with his name, made it to legend with this team that I'm about to show you. So uh, shout out to Shadow Leahy, AKA I am the liquor 94, AKA BT Wajda, insert clip of, uh, of drunk uh, Jim Leahy doing something funny. You know, just to see if we're in syncopation, I'm just gonna cut a card and I'm gonna show you the card and I'm gonna try to tell you what it me is, okay? There. That could be three of diamonds. No, but it was close. R.I.P. Jim Dunsworth. And, and, then, and then the clip the clip goes here. And this is the clip part. And then you put the clip here. I, I don't know. I don't know. Jeeves, do you know? Did I say it right? Jeeves, this is, where, this is where the clip goes. What? What did you say? Nothing. You'll see it on the camera later. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so as you can see here to my uh, left-hand side, we've got Galarian Slowpoke. Uh, well, we did have him. I'm not sure where he went, but we did have him over here somewhere. But either way, he's missing now, and uh, that's okay. It doesn't matter. You know what he looks like, and uh, he, he's 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 nothing to be feared. He's nothing to be feared, you know. So. Either way, let's get past his screen. There, there's that's enough of that. All right. Oh, there he is. There he is. A little tiny guy up in the top. Yeah, he's a small guy. We all know he's a little tiny guy. Uh, so yeah, this is the team. This is the team he used to get to legend. And uh, in the beginning of these battles, he was at 2600 ELO. So that's a that's a pretty impressive feat to go from 2600 all the way to legend with this team right here. Uh, so let's go through it real quick so we know what we're talking about. Uh, after I insert a thing that should have been there already. There we go. Uh, so we have Gal uh, Hundo maxed out level 51 Galarian Slowpoke in the lead with Confusion Surf in Precise Shock, and then we have a uh, shiny Aloma Moma 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 Fish with Waterfall Psychic and Hydro Poomp, and then we've got Drudagon in the back with Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw, and Night Slash. So there's not much else to say about this team. I really feel like we just need to get into the battles. We're gonna get into the battles. We're gonna get through these because I've already filmed this, and I'm I'm and I'm upset that I'm doing it again, but that's okay. Picking up a positive leaf here up against a Medicham. The opponent comes in with a Meg Cargo, and this Meg Cargo is now regretting all of its life choices. It's probably gonna be going for a Rock Tomb here, I would imagine, but no, it goes for an Overheat. Why would you do that to yourself? I guess it does more damage, but you don't debuff the attack of the uh, Aloma Mola. So I'm not sure why they did that, but hey, you do what you have. You do what you know what you want to do. All right, so now he got so much energy here. He's gonna go for the Hydro Pump here. This is gonna be doing. So oh, that does so much damage there. 
All right, so we're gonna be going for these waterfalls, and they're gonna they're gonna have to go for a psychic to take him out. So most likely this is gonna be the psychic that takes out the uh, pink fish guy. Coming back in, and now we've got hard counter city. We have the Drudagon versus the Talonflame. I would probably let this go, because even if it's a Brave Bird, yeah, you can pretty much just confusion down both Pokemon here. Uh, so these Flame Charges aren't doing very much. Doesn't even have to shield. And then Metacham comes in, and yeah, they knew it was over. So either way, very, very nice plays coming out here from Shadow Leahy. We all know he is a professional, and uh, much more professional than I am, that's for damn sure. And also, there's a battle against Ferexter in here. If you don't know who Ferexter is, uh, he's a uh, he's a streamer. All right, picking up another positive lead here up against Metacham. Once again, going to be resisting everything except for Ice Punch. So the opponent was trying to catch there, uh, but unfortunately, they're going to eat some Psy Shock onto their Aloma Mola. Oh, that actually did some good damage there, you know. All right, so coming in with the Drudagon here. Drudagon is going to be taking uh, resisted damage from the waterfalls because of that pure dragon typing that it has. Uh, gonna have to shield up the Psychic though, unfortunately. Gonna go for the Night Slash here, hoping for the boost. Uh, there's no reason to go for a Dragon Claw in this situation because you can farm down regardless. And uh, now you come out with the potential boost, which you didn't get, and then you also have a charge move loaded. So let's see what comes back in. I'm assuming it's gonna be the Medicham, but no, it's, it, is, it is a slow bro, regular slow bro, which means that it takes super effective damage from Night Slash. And uh, I don't know what that was. I'm guessing they shielded that. Did they shield that? No, they didn't shield that. that all right, so there's the infamous third shield. Now, can BT Washita pull this out even though the opponent basically cheated? Not on purpose, but mind you. By the way, uh, I don't know if you guys got the uh, the notice from Niantic about talking about how next season's gonna be filled with, uh, you know, no changes whatsoever to the move pools, and they're gonna be focusing on um, the world championships. Oh God, that's gonna go wonderfully. That's gonna go absolutely wonderfully. Uh, we're all we all know that Niantic knows how to make a championship work real well. It's esports ready gaming right here. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna see a lot of complaints. We're gonna see a lot of people who are battling and then they lose because they miss out on one fast move. And you better believe they're gonna be complaining because it's the world championships. You gotta complain. Either way, he's going to be confusioning down. Even with the third shield the opponent got there, uh, he was able to take the win. So that's actually very impressive. Very nice. All right, into the next battle here. Picking up a lead against a slow bro. So this is uh, this is not good for either Pokemon here. I would imagine um, it might be better for the slow poke. Let's see how much a psychic does. Okay, it doesn't do that much. All right, so now I'm going to be switching into the Drudagon. And uh, Medicham comes out. Let's see if he goes for the Night Slash. He does go for the Night Slash here. Uh, so fish him for the boost, I would imagine. Let's see. No boost. Okay, this could be an Ice Punch. Let's see if he lets it go. He does let it go, and it is a Power Up Punch. So they're running Power Up Punch and Psychic. So now he's going to be going for the Dragon Claw. See, a Night Slash wouldn't KO here. So if they think it's a Night Slash, they might no shield it. And a Dragon Claw still doesn't KO. So I think this is worth a shield to win Switch. But look. Shadow Leahy, this is why he's a legend, and that's why I'm not. So, he decides to let it go, which is fine. He has so much energy here now. Uh, he's going to be going for the Surf here. I See, I was talking about this the last time I recorded. I would imagine that Psy Shock is more energy efficient because it gets Stab on it. But he, he does go for Surf in, in situations where they're either both neutral or where they're both uh, resisted. So, I'm guessing Surf is more energy efficient. I don't actually know. But either way, it's a Meg Cargo in the back. We all know how this goes. They're going to quit out. You know it. And it's a shiny Meg Cargo, too. So suck it. I know Jeeves would be upset about the, sh the shiny Meg Cargo. She doesn't like when people flex on her. No, fuck all that nonsense. All right. So picking a bleed against an Aloma Mola here. So I don't know how this goes. Uh, I would imagine this is probably positive because Psy Shock gets, uh, you get to Psy Shocks quicker than the Aloma Mola gets to a Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump hits for neutral, whereas Psychic is resisted. So uh, gonna let this come through expecting the Psychic. It is a Psychic. Now gonna be switching into the Drudagon. The opponent also switches at the same time into the Lickitung. So now we're gonna see a Night Slash come through once again, fishing for the boost. Give me the boost. Give me the Drudagon boost. No Drudagon boost. Okay, that's unfortunate. Probably gonna let this first Body Slam come through because it doesn't do enough to KO. And should be able to get to this next move here. Going for the Dragon Claw once again. If this was a Night Slash, it would not KO. So let's see. 
All right, no, they do shield. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so probably gonna let this go or could shield this. It's up to you. All right, so decides to shield this because he can't get to another move here. Going for the Night Slash. Uh, you don't want to over farm in this situation because uh, Lickitung gets to those moves very, very quickly. So uh, able to take back switch. Medicham comes in. He actually decides to preserve the Drudagon and come in with the Aloma Mola. Okay, interesting, interesting. Going to be shielding up this Psychic. I like that play. Uh, and now at this point, pretty much going to be going for his own Psychic. The opponent does not a very nice catch onto their own Aloma Mola. Uh, gonna be tanking this psychic. Why did that do so much damage? Why did why did that do so much damage? Can anybody explain to me why that did so much? That shouldn't have done that much damage. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, psychic coming through. That does not KO. And can he get to the next psychic? He does get to the next psychic. He still has three Pokemon alive. Now can he do this? I believe. I believe in him. He comes in with the Galarian Slowpoke. Level 51, Galarian Slowpoke at 1403 CP, able to farm down while resisting those counters coming out of Medicham. You'll love to see it. You really, really do. By the way, my new addiction is uh, oat milk coffee. And yeah, you know, it, might, it might sound gross, but it's not, okay? It's not. It's actually freaking delicious and and jeeves is right my new addiction is actually archaeus it has nothing to do with coffee i just drink coffee all the time anyway but now i'm drinking oat milk coffee it's it's like half coffee half oat milk and then like a little bit of sugar all right so either way we saw a switch into drudagon and then the opponent returned the favor with a charmer which we all hate we all we all love to hate so you know let's just hate on this person for a little bit here so aromatis is going to be going down there and let's see what comes in it's going to be like a tongue coming in with the aloma mola uh this is a positive matchup believe it or not for aloma mola as long as you can positively shield the power whip he calls the body slam bait that is a huge call right there going straight for the psychic here because most likely expecting a shield mm-hmm all right the next one's probably the power whip if they if they bait twice then uh, this Lickitung is a master baiter. I'm pretty sure this Lickitung is master baiting right now. And uh, that's not okay for YouTube. You need to stop that Lickitung. So either way, he's able to shield the power whip that time. And now he's going to be over farming and going into his slow poke. Now he quits out. Okay, fair enough. That's, that's yeah, fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. It's just, it's fair. All right, into the next battle, picking up a positive lead against an Argyros, doing super effective damage there. And the opponent comes in with a slow bro, which means Night Slash, super effective. Going to be going for Night Slashes in this case, obviously. Going to be doing some super effective damage. Probably going to be getting a shield. Does get the shield. Sneaks Dragon Tail through. You love to see it. And going to be shielding up this Ice Beam slash Psychic. Uh, either one would KO, so it doesn't really matter which one you go through or, or go for. So we're going to be over farming here, going for the Night Slash. This will be taking out the slow bro if let go, and they do let it go. Let's see what they come in with next. Probably a Metacham. Now they come back in with the Ariados. Now going for the Dragon Claw here. Uh, this will most likely get the shield because Ariados does not tank moves well at all. Okay, they actually don't shield it. So um, probably a smart play because that gives the uh, Galarian Slowpoke less farm. So I do, I do like that play, but he's going to be coming in with the Aloma Mola here. Uh, the opponent does a very nice job of deferring the waterfall onto their own Aloma Mola so that their Ariados is still alive. Uh, going to be going for the Psychic. Obviously, see, that's how much a Psychic should do. I think the last person who was using Aloma Mola must be using an underleveled one or one with terrible IVs. Uh, so either way, doesn't really matter. So Psychics are going to be spamming out left and right. This is extremely interesting to watch. I am just on the edge of my seat right now. Aloma Mola mirror match is where it's at. All right, so staying in, not going to shield a thing. Most likely, I doubt it. Psychic coming through, now going to be switching into the Slowpoke. And uh, going to be over farming just a little bit here. Going for the side Shock here. This is going to be taking out the Aloma Mola if they let it go. And it does. And they have the Ariados. And he snuck a Confusion through, so he just has to shield. And uh, shield up that super effective Lunge. And that Confusion takes out the Ariados. You love to see it. You really, really do. Uh, did we miss the Ferrixer battle? I think I might have already played it and not noticed it. All right, so picking up a lead against an Octillery. Interesting. A Mudshot Octillery as well. All right, so this is going to be the Octazooka. It does hit for neutral here because it doesn't have... It's an Acid Spray. Okay, interesting. 
Interesting, interesting. They they went for acid spray. All right, so going for the Psy Shock here. That's going to be hitting for neutral, and we'll be getting a shield because yeah, artillery needs shields real bad. All right, so we're going to be coming in with the Drudagon, trying to catch here on the Drudagon. Let's see if he's able to catch. He catches another acid spray. What the frick? Why? Wh why? Why? Why acid spray twice? I don't understand. Why do you even have acid spray on your Pokemon? Okay, whatever. They snuck in a, uh, a Smackdown and then somehow snuck in another Smackdown that was invisible. So he went down invisibly, which makes no sense. Once again, this game is completely esports ready. I can't wait for the championships. All right. And the opponent quits out. So that was a quick one. You'll love to see it. All right. Into the next battle here. Going up against Big Drippa. All right, picking up a leading it's an electrode gotta watch out fat play does hit for super effective damage here let's see if he tries to catch i doubt it i doubt he's gonna try to catch because aloma mola also has a bad matchup against electrode so they do have foul play they're not running um they're not running hyper beam they have discharge and foul play most likely although i tend to run foul play and hyper beam so it's just up to you all right so could have gone for the surf there but decided uh or thought maybe that he had the psy shock so he does double shield here and the talent flame comes in do they know that it has surf do they know do they know they do know all right so now i'm going to be coming in with the aloma mola aloma mola is going to be going for a brave bird here which you love to see because this brave bird is not going to ko by any means aloma mola is a big fat tank so there it goes and now we're going to be seeing a pokemon of some sort coming in uh electrode but he has a psychic loaded Unfortunately, this electrode is going down to a psychic, and now it's all up to make cargo. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, going for the psychic. <sighs> Excuse me. All right, that's not quite going to take it out, but it's able to catch on the Drudagon just to add insult to injury. You love to see it. You really do. They didn't even. Uh, <laughs> they didn't even hit the bubbles there. Respect. Respect. All right, we got four more. Destruct Toxel. The to Toxicity. Toxicity. I like that Pokemon. All right. Once again, picking up a lead against an Aloma Mola. Now, let's see if he decides to switch into his own Aloma Mola after the Psychic comes through or if the opponent builds up to the Hydro Pump this time. Let us find out. Nope. They're just going straight for the Psychic. So that is a mistake. You definitely want to bait the Hydro Pump here because you don't need to shield a Psychic. So switching into the Drudagon here. Drudagon does make a good safe swap because there's not many Charmers out there. And when you do find them, uh, it is rough, obviously, but you know, it is what it is. Sorry, I don't know why I'm yawning. All right, I'm not bored, I promise. All right, so Porygon 2 comes in. Interesting. Okay, so we're going for the Night Slash here. This will probably get the shield because Porygon. Okay, never mind. Gets the boost. Game over. Game over. Let's see him quit out. There it is. Yeah. Once you get the boost, that, that's it. That's it. That's what happens. All right. Third to last battle. This is Ferexter. We're going up against Ferexter now. If you don't know who Ferexter is, check him out on Twitch. His name is spelled just like it was shown there. Uh, so picks up a lead against a wing attack Charizard. And interestingly enough, switches out of that matchup, uh, which is surprising to me because he had Surf, but uh, he also has a, uh, two Pokemon that counter Charizard very well. So uh, I guess it makes sense to switch out of that. All right, so Dragon Claw is going to be taking him out. So he's going to let this come through. And he's gonna let this, uh, he's gonna stay even on shields, basically. All right, probably gonna be coming back in with the Galarian Slowpoke to farm down, and he's able to do so. And now let's see what comes out. Do you have a response? The answer is no. He does not have a response. He has his own Slowbro, and unfortunately he loses the CMP tie, but this is just gonna be a Psychic or a Water Pulse, which is even worse than a Psychic. Actually, no, that's better, I forgot. It doesn't have the Water Typing, so his for neutral. Uh, I think Ice Beam is probably your better bet, though. So either way, coming in with the Aloma Mola this time. And I would imagine probably shielding up this Psychic because it's gonna do more damage than anything else will. Uh, so Psychic coming through, and the last Pokemon is an Electrode, and unfortunately, folks, when you have an Electrode and you use your shields, well, you get pumped. You get pumped to the face. You get uh, a Loma Mola just blasting its pump all over your face, and uh, and they call it a pump cocky. Not being gross. Yeah, that was, that was a gross joke, but only adults will get it, so it's fine. 
Uh, it's actually a tie. He tied with Ferrickster. Very nice. You love to see it. I should have saved that for the bonus battle, but I didn't. You guys got the bonus battle early. Leave a like now if you like the bonus battle. If not, leave a like anyway because I said so. All right, picking up a lead against a Poison Jab Seeking. Man, you don't really see very many of these. Okay, so the opponent does a very nice catch on a Wormadam. How the frick did they know how to catch that is my question. Uh, but either way, going to be coming in with the Loma Mola here. Loma Mola does have a good matchup because it does neutral damage with everything except for Psychic. And it takes resisted damage from Iron, Iron Head. So they have to go for Bug Buzz to do any substantial damage. So he's going to be over farming quite a bit here. It takes the uh, Wormadam a long time to get to two Bug Buzzes. So... Going for the uh, Hydro Pump here. This is going to be definitely taking out the Warmadam. I think Psychic plus a Waterfall would have done it, but that's okay. You do what you got to do. And uh, if this Electrode over farms, which it seems they're going to, they are going to have to shield up this Psychic. So let's see. We get the shield. Very nice. And uh, now they are farming down. So that is very dangerous. So coming in with the Drudagon and uh, not able to attack for some reason. Going to let the Foul Play come through. And um, I... I've been using Drudagon a lot, and I did not realize Foul Play only did that much. I thought Foul Play did way more than that. All right, so Seeking comes back in, and it uh, looks like it's going to be throwing an Icy Wind, most likely, at the... No, they went for Trail Run. Okay, interesting. Uh, maybe they're running Megahorn, and they don't have Triple Legacy. Maybe it's just a Double Legacy. Uh, either way, he should be able to Confusion this thing down, and now he's got a Charge Move ready for the electrode in the back so uh i'm again i'm surprised he didn't go for side shot because side shot costs less energy but uh what, what do i know i guess he gets to them both at the same time so either way he's able to take out the electrode and all is well in the realm of galarian slowpoke uh except for his height he, he's he's very short and he wants to get knee implants all right into the last battle going up against uh Agua Aguere? I can't I can't roll my R's, so I'm sorry. Alright, so picking up a positive lead. Aguere! I can't say it. Alright, so like uh again, once again we pick up a positive lead and we're gonna be switching the Aloma Mola into the Brave Bird Boy. But guess what? Aloma Mola does not care about Brave Bird, so gonna be farming this thing all the way down. Metacham comes back in. We've already watched this battle. Why is the, I did this last time too? When I recorded this last time, I, I did this too. And it's not I will say I'm blaming this one on you, Shadow Leahy. You sent me the same battle twice, and you and you named it. Uh, yeah, it has two different names. It has two different names. Maybe maybe it's a different battle, and we're just seeing the same thing. So let's let's watch it out. We're gonna watch it out. I think this actually is a different battle. Now that I'm thinking about it, this this is a different battle. What am I talking about? All right, I'm sorry, Shadow Leahy, that I ever doubted you. You are a god. You would never send me the same battle twice labeled differently. You wouldn't do it. I, I, w I refuse to believe it. All right, so going to be farming down here. No, not farming down. Going to be throwing the Night Slash because that is a CMP tie to the Rock Tomb. Doesn't want to get debuffed twice. Gets the boost. You love to see it. Going to be shielding this up most likely. Or, no, okay. He's going to be shielding up this Ice Punch and now going for the Dragon Claw. And that's not it. That's not it. That's not it and gets to the surf this should do it this should do it this should take it out and baboosh we done here and uh before we get into the bonus battle i'm gonna give a huge shout out to shower singing who has given me who has gifted upon me a wondrous image which i will now add to the screen we're coming back over to this screen uh jeeves you can make my 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 face the size of the whole screen right now and we're going to add this on here. Actually, I guess... No, never mind. Skip that. Don't add my face to the whole screen. Uh, we're, we'll, we'll figure this out. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> Where do I put this? Here, we'll put it, we'll put it over here. It means no worries. Right. For the rest of your day. Here it is. It's our problem free. Philosophy. Okay. I got the thing and I'm gonna do the thing. I'm leaving that in, by the way. You can do that if you want. You're the one editing the video. 
All right, so I gotta get this small enough so that my, you know what? Forget the camera, just delete the camera from existence. Just fit it to the screen. There, okay. And, and, and get rid of my face. My face does not need to be seen here. All right, so as you can see here, thanks to Shower Singing, which by the way, shout out to Shower Singing in the Discord. He has shown us the true evolution uh, a thing, the, the, the true, the true evolution series of as I'm bomb baton brown bomb 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 baton brown bomb bomb bombadil. First, we start out here with Azombaril, and then it evolves into Bombaril, and then of course we have Azom Bombaril, and then its mega evolution is Azom Tom Tom ba bomb bomb Tom Dom bomb baton bomb bomb baton rom bomb baton bomb bombadil. Nice sack, bro. You better believe it. Shout out to Shower Singing for this amazing image. I love it. I love it. Okay, now we're gonna show you a bonus battle. I promised you a bonus battle, so we're gonna show you a bonus battle. And uh, since the uh, go battle freaking whatever championship thing is is coming coming up here soon, whenever I don't know. We'll show you. We'll, we'll show you a little, uh, little taste of what's gonna happen in this so-called uh, whatever. All right. So what am I doing here? Is this the right video? I don't know. I'm running a scrub team. No, this is this is okay. Here, I think this is it right here. So right. All right. All right. So we switch. This I'm running a scrub team. You know, the double fighter with Bastion in the lead. We go for the ice punch. Uh, we get that that move off, and then right here. I, uh, I let the sky attack come through because I survive a sky attack, right? And then I should be able to get one counter in and go for the ice punch. Nope, didn't happen. Didn't happen. Battle over. I am not playing the rest of that battle. All right, next battle. This one's called How uh, TF Did I Lose? Broken game. Let's see what happens. I'm using a, uh, a team that I won uh, Legend with in Season 3. And it's one of Wallower's teams. All right, so we picked up a positive lead, and then I tried to switch, and the game did not let me switch. Wonderful. You love to see it. Thank you for that. Uh, we're going to be throwing this. This is not in Season 3, by the way. This was this season. So just a heads up. All right, so we're going. Uh, since Obama... I can't even get fast moves through. Since Shadow Obama Snow can actually beat Galarian Stunfisk, uh, we're going to try to do that. But guess what? Um... It doesn't work that way when you're missing your fast moves. So, uh, yeah. Yep, I should be able to farm down right there. But since I missed out on fast moves, didn't work out that way. Now I'm down two shields. Yes, and then they save the Stunfisk. Wonderful. All right, this game is working absolutely as intended. We're going to come in with the Azumarill now. Because what else am I going to do? Okay, all right, let's let this play out. Let's see how this goes. I bet you guys can guess. I bet you guys can guess. How does it go? All right, does the seed bomb KO? Let's let's see if it does. It doesn't. I would I had to play rough. I don't know if you knew that, but I had to play rough there. So I could have thrown a play rough. But the game just decided that I fainted instead of having to play rough. Okay, so those are the bonus battles, and that's a little taste. Uh, let's get rid of this. That's a little taste of what's to come next season when uh, the World Championship League Championship, whatever the frick they're calling it, is coming out. You're going to see plenty of that. You're going to see plenty of people who are in this cup raging and contesting every single battle saying, look, I would have won this game. If I would have not missed this fast move, or I would have won this game if I didn't lag right here. There are going to be so many battles that are going to have to be just counted as not draws, but they're going to have to cancel the whole battle and do the battle over again. Hopefully, like that's how Sylph does it. And if they need, they need to learn from Sylph because Sylph knows what they're doing, unlike this freaking company. All right, I'm ranting a lot. I'm sorry, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it. If you left a like down below, it does really help out the channel. And if you're new, subscribe as long as you enjoy the content as there will be more content out coming out very, very soon. And if you want to see me play Pokemon Legends Arceus, check it out. I'll be streaming it on the channel. And if you want to watch 
you know, after the stream, there are, uh, I believe, four videos up now that you can watch. You know, you can watch them, you can skip through them, you can do whatever you want. Every day, so. I've been streaming it every day, that is true. So yeah, if you want to check it out, it <laughs> I'm about to stream it now. I'm about to hand this video off to Jeeves, so and I'm going to go stream, stream it. So hope I see you there. Which you won't, I won't know because this video is coming out tomorrow, so it won't really work out that way. <laughs> Either way. She just takes on the hard work so baby can have fun. I told you I would edit the video. She insisted, okay? Don't. I, I insist because I want to take on the hard work so baby can oh, have fun. Man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Either way, thank you guys for stopping by. I really do appreciate y'all. And uh, if you had a good time, don't forget to leave a like. And I hope to see you soon. Take it easy. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video with what I started it off like. Does this make you feel awkward? Makes you nah. makes you feel awkward. You can just cut this part out anyway if you wanted to. Yeah, Alright, take it easy, y'all. I love you much, and uh, see you at the Arcade stream. Deuces. Deuces. Shout out to my patrons, Running Froggy, The North Star, JR91, Dragobound, Nuclear Ninjas, Ankleweights, Media Lara, K, Bigler Banks, Doug J Dempsey, DJ Mimsy, Sawyer Man, Clapton Caveman, Moach, Kodiak Jenkins, Vintage Kish, Kid Kulek, Will M, Edward O'Neill, Infamous One, Daniel Timms, Ray Rafik, Insubin, Stash Shoe, Richard, Madhouse655321, Pineapple Pidgey, Max, Arborandi, and JD3D and Chaotic.